on the road. Thank you very much. And I'll be my
Mr. President, I present to you this seven students of certificate in the office management course who successfully completed all their academic requirements under ICC curriculum. And two students of level three diploma in business innovation and entrepreneurship course who successfully completed all their academic requirements under qualified curriculum. Congratulations. Students of UK Diploma in Level 3 of In Health and Social Care, please rise. Students of UK Diploma in Health and Social Care, Level 4, please rise. Mm. Mr. President, I present to you these 15 students of Level 3 and 73 students of level 4, UK Diploma in Health and Social Care. All of them are successfully completed all of their requirements academically under qualified UK Diploma curriculum. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, students of um, qualified UK level 4 Diploma in Information Technology, please rise. Mr. President, I present to you seven students of unqualified um, level four diploma in information technology who have successfully completed all their academic requirements under the qualified UK diploma curriculum. Congratulations. Congratulations. Here the theoretical uh, the management exercises of uh, ICSA or International Institute of Computer Science and Administration. The employment is, of course, beyond the mga bagong credit na mga ayan. The students of UK Diploma in Accounting and Finance, please rise. And the students of the UK Diploma Level 7 in Strategic Management and Leadership, please rise. Mr. President, I present to you these two students of Level 3 and 4 Diploma in Accounting and Finance and six students of Level 7 Diploma in Strategic Management and Leadership Postgraduate MBA who successfully completed all their academic requirements under the Qualified UK Diploma Curriculum. Yeah, congratulations sa lahat ng uh, mga graduates natin ngayong araw na ito. This is... Uh, so everyone, please rise. Uh, sorry, 2023 to 2024. And congratulations. Having completed the academic requirement of their course set by ICSA management and our cross-funding awarding bodies, with the certification of our instructors and managing director as well as by the confirmation of our internal and external verifiers by virtue of my authority as the CEO and the president of ICSA I recognize and accept these 74 ICSA students of skill based courses and 114 students of UK Diploma courses as officially graduated. Wow. Congratulations! Mabuhay! Mabuhay! Congratulations! We request to please turn your castle at the right time. All right. So, a warm congratulations to our ICSA 2024 graduates. We are so very proud of you. You made it. Congratulations. Please be seated. And by that, we will now move on to the distribution of certificates per course. May we request Vice Consul Aaron? Sir Amir and Ma'am Aisha, 
to assist in the distribution. We request Ma'am Fatima to assist the distribution of certificates. So, uh, after Let us start with a level 7 UP Diploma in Strategic Management and Leadership course graduates. And so, uh, iikot tayo mga kapanoy Arabia Ayan, para makita ninyo yung buong uh, Alright, so once again, let us all welcome our Level 7 UK Diploma in Strategic Management and Leadership Starting with Alforeza Juan Humilia Academic Awardee and also completed Office Management course
lang is mag uh, aral din while uh, working, for example. You can always enroll here at uh, ICSA uh, or Special Institute of Computer Science Administration. Ayan, para naman maging isa kayo sa mga graduates nila soon. Hi to Lutie si Saad. Ayan, dadan na ako. Happy Friday afternoon po sa atin. Congratulations once again to our level 7 UK Diploma in Strategic Management and Leadership Graduate. Okay, at this moment, let us pause the certificates distribution for a while. Sira yung tripod. Sira yung tripod. Decom launcher. So, yes, our top launcher for the okay, next seven UK Diploma in Strategic Management and Leadership course. Let's have a warm applause, Mr. William Tyler Chester Galvan, to give this informational speech. Good evening, distinguished guests, esteemed faculty, beloved faculty, and to my fellow graduates. Good evening. Good evening. I am deeply honored and grateful to receive this recognition. I owe this achievement to the support, understanding, and love of the most important people of my life. This speech is all about expressing my gratitude to them. But first, I want to share the story of why I decided to enroll in high school school. About a year ago, many of my closest friends at work at a year time decided to move abroad for better opportunities and a change of environment. Some ventured to Poland, Croatia, uh, Canada, and the UK, leaving me with a sense of uh, being left behind. So I felt like I needed to do something similar and it reached a point where I considered taking any job just to go abroad and keep up with the trend. But as I kept thinking about the next steps, I felt lost, as if I was starting from zero. But one Sunday, August 20, 2023, um, I went to church in Manila, seeking guidance from God. After the service, I reflected on moving to Poland or Croatia to fulfill my the void in my heart. I'm so sorry. My heart. So I prayed sincerely, asking for a sign to guide to guide me towards His plan. As I headed back to Maria Bas Station going home, a foreign man handed me a brochure, ICSA brochure. At that moment, I knew it was part of God's plan. Throughout my working life, my main goal was to provide for my family and help my two sisters to finish their studies. By then, my sisters had already graduated and we were working together to support our family. In that moment, I realized that I had fulfilled my, my purpose and achieved the goal I had no work for. That I made me realize it was time to do something for myself. That realization led me back to school. At first, I, I felt overwhelmed. Like I was back to square one. Especially in the first month, I was constantly asking questions, feeling clueless. Thankfully, uh, Mom, Mom Anna and others 
are there to help me. But I soon discovered I wasn't alone feeling, uh, feeling lost. All of us. But in all seriousness, going back to school wasn't easy. It was much harder than I had imagined. Thankfully, we had the support of Mom Aisha, our instructor who guided us every step of the way. She mentored, encouraged, even tolerated and spoiled us when needed. And for that, we are profoundly grateful, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, ICSA, for truly living up to your work. Your partner in success. Your support has given us hope and the chance to continue moving forward. We are especially grateful for the opportunities to provide to OFWs, empowering us to improve our lives, create positive change, and build a better future for ourselves and for our families. Throughout this journey, my partner has been my unwavering source of strength. Pa, you've always been my greatest yet silent supporter. Mm. Just like the wind, unseen but always felt. Pa, you are the wind beneath my wings. And for that, I am forever grateful. <laughs> to Nalai Patay, I am grateful for your, for your unwavering love and for instilling in me the values of humility and unwavering determination to pursue my passions. Your guidance has shaped me into who I am today, and I cherish every lesson you taught me. I also want to express my gratitude to my two incredible sisters. You were my motivation to work hard and watching you chase your dreams inspired me to pursue my own. Your love and support have meant the world to me. To my other siblings, Kuya Bang and Angelo, thank you for always standing by my side. To Miss Wei, thank you for always cheering me up. And to my nephews, thank you for the joy and laughter you brought into my life, reminding me the brighter side of every challenges. To my friends, especially Ward and Jason and Tessa, thank you for walking this journey with me and cheering me on when I needed it most. A special thank you to one of them. You believe in me and constant encouragement made all the difference. Thank you for always rooting for me. To my employer, as you time, this is my employer. This is my employer. But seriously, thank you as you time group for your unwavering support and understanding, allowing me to pursue my, my studies while working with you. Without your moral support, I wouldn't have been able to complete this journey. Thank you as you time. About all, I think that his guidance increased me the strength to continue when I was early and the wisdom to, to know this was the right path. His hand has been with me every step of the way and I owe all glory and honor to him for making this achievement possible. <laughs> to my fellow graduates, today is proof that no matter how long or difficult the journey. You can achieve your dreams if you remain determined. We are here today because we believe in ourselves, work harder than everyone, and we never give up. Let this day remind us that it's never too late to pursue your passions, or it's never too late to succeed. As we close this chapter and begin a new one, let us carry forward the education, experiences, and values we gain with the world open to us. Let's continue striving for excellence 
So, after na lang niya. After na lang niya. After na lang niya. Kapag na kasi yung mga nagkakas. As George Bernard Shaw said, Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations! Tapos na siya. Awakan ko. Ayan lang ba? Palagay na lang ako dun. Thank you so much, Mr. William, for the inspiring speech filled with gratitude. So indeed, we have to be courageous enough to chase our dreams and also humble enough to acknowledge all the people who have been part of our journey and success. Once again, congratulations to our top matcher, Mr. William Tara Chester Gilman. You are such an inspiration. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will continue the, the distribution of certificates to our graduates of the other courses. May we request Vice Consul Aaron, Mr. Yasser Sir and Ms. Fatima to assist in the distribution. Let us call on stage our graduates for Level 4 UK Diploma in Business Management. Starting with Aquiles Nagan, Academic Awardee and also completed the Computer Secretarial Course. I'm once again uh, here at the IC as a commencement exercises and I'm here at uh, the Convention Center and Rosie's Hotel in Kuwait. Let us go on stage and say Shirley and Dilly, our dean. To everyone uh, for the class of uh, 2024. The graduates of the business I'm going to 
mag-aral, no? Actually, ay uh, open po yung uh, ICSA or yung tawag natin na EXA. Ayan, to accept you, of course, no? Uh, whatever your age is, kung gusto mo talagang uh, mag-aral, syempre. Uh, but you can always contact ICSA. Uh, so, later on. Later on, I'll be uh, posting the uh, number ayan, ng uh, uh, ICSA para pwede ninyong mag-contact. Kapag kayo ay gusto mag-inquire ng mga courses available, ayan. Yeah. 
sunshine. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Distinguished guests, esteemed faculty, fellow graduates, and dear family and friends. Today is a day of celebration and reflection. We are here because of the collective hard work, perseverance, and determination that each of us has shown throughout our academic journey. This day is significant not just for me, but for all of us. As we come together to celebrate the completion of our educational achievements. When I first started this journey, I wasn't entirely sure where it would take me. There were days when I felt stuck and confused. But those moments taught me something important. Growth comes through the struggles. It was those tough times that pushed me to try harder, to ask more questions, and to never settle. I learned that nothing worth having comes easy. This achievement is not just mine, it belongs to all of us. It's a reflection of the skills we have honed, the challenges we have overcome, and the knowledge we have gained. ICC has given us the space to grow not just in academics but personally as well. It's a place where we want, where we learn from the best and we encourage to believe in our potential. Of course, none of this would have been possible without a lot of support. To my mama and papa and my dear brother, thank you for always being there for me. Offering your amazing support and love throughout the journey. You have been my greatest source of motivation and resilience. And to my instructor, Sir Andrew Ramos, thank you for such a giving us passion, to give us guidance, encouragement, and the belief that we could do this. So with the next chapter of our lives, as we move forward into the next chapter of our lives, Let's remember that today is not an end, it's a beginning. Be now carrying with us the tools, knowledge, and confidence to make some of our challenges tonight. There will be obstacles, yes, and there will be also endless opportunities. The futures we have dreamed of are very strange, and it's up to us to grow them. In closing, I leave you with this. Never stop learning, never stop feeding, and ever stop striving for the best version of yourself. Thank you and once again, congratulations everyone. I never stop dying. Never stop learning. And even though kahit tayo ay nasa ibang bansa, abay syempre, pwede pa di pa rin tayong mag-aral. Thank you so much Mr. Ryan for that lovely message that we're, we should sure give all of us more motivation to pursue our dreams. Okay, so we have a special um, a presentation here today, and I will turn you over to Maria for this. Okay, thank you, Marisol. Ladies and gentlemen, today marks a significant milestone of our graduates, right? As we witness their incredible journey. Our next presenter has grown in skill and confidence, mastering the art of communication, an art that extends far beyond words. Through the English Enhancement Program, she had refined her fluency, strengthened her coherence, and developed clear, precise pronunciation and intonation. But what stands out most is her ability to connect with others, engage in audience, and speak with confidence that inspires. 
It is with great honor that I introduce to you the academic already of English Enhancement Program. Miss Teresa Cardenosa will now deliver an oration that embodies the broad dedication and transformation achieved through this program. Please join me in welcoming Miss Teresa on stage. A warm applause. Performing. Thank you, Ms. Gisol. And congratulations to uh, ICS Kuwait graduates, especially Mayurin Boscano. I heard he's coming from Melanie. Congratulations.